But if you want to have your own photography business, then you need to love marketing and you need to love working on a marketing plan. So you need to be kind of saying to yourself, um, this is going to be great, I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, with this marketing idea. This is what running a business is all about. So um, let's look at what you could be doing when it comes to marketing your business. And one place to start is to be consistently creating content for your website and sharing content on your social media channels. Now, I know this is hard work and I know a lot of photographers feel that they don't have time to be posting on their Facebook page or, or writing an article for their blog, but this kind of stuff is really important um, and, and here's why. When it comes to blog posts, they are one of the most cost-effective channels uh, for generating leads um, ahead of social media, uh, organic SEO, trade shows, etc. If you're not blogging, then you're not doing the simplest and, and really one of the cheapest things uh, that you could be doing to promote your business. Uh, then there's also social media, which is going like crazy uh, in terms of activity. Where it gets interesting is that unless you pay for it, content you share on your Facebook page, um, it's only going to reach about 2% of your Facebook page fans. So uh, that's one of the reasons why it's really important that you post lots of content because um, very few of your fans will see a given piece of content that you post on Facebook. Now, uh, what, what is interesting though is that um, the bar that real estate photographers have set when it comes to sharing content online uh, is very low. So you don't have to do very much to be at the top because most other photographers out there are doing practically nothing online. Now, to find out um, what's going on, uh, earlier this week, I went and looked at the websites and Facebook pages of about 21 photographers that I know watch these videos uh, that I do. So maybe I looked at your, your page, okay? Uh, and here's what I found from that. Out of the 21 photographer websites I looked at, just one had posted something on their blog in the month of July uh, and even that was just a collection of photographs. Uh, it wasn't a quality, well-written blog post like it should be. Uh, but get this, if we look at the first seven months of 2018, only six photographers out of 21 had posted something on their blog this year. So uh, when it comes to blog posts, there's a big fail mark for those photographers that I looked at. Uh, so then I went and had a look at Facebook pages for all of those photographers as well. Uh, and they are doing better, but um, still below what they should be. Out of 21 photographers, 10 photographers posted something in the month of July, uh, and 11 posted nothing at all that month. Uh, and so if we look at the average for all of them, I found an average of 2.2 Facebook posts per photographer for July. Uh, so it's about one, one post every two weeks. So, um, I, I, and just, just remember some photographers posted nothing at all in that month. Some haven't posted anything for a year or more. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, it means that the standard that photographers have set uh, seems to be pretty low. Uh, so if you want to succeed as a photographer when it comes to sharing blog posts um, and posting on your Facebook page, uh, then if you posted something on your blog once a month, then you would be doing better than all of the photographers I looked at. Uh, and if you posted once a week, um, then you would be absolutely smashing it. Um, you, you would be number one. Um, looking then at Facebook, if you posted something on Facebook once every two days, uh, then you would also be doing better than all of the photographers I looked at in this list of 21. Um, once again, you'd go to the top of that list and that would have to translate into growth in your business, provided of course that you were still creating great photos uh, and giving excellent service. Okay, so it's not that much really that you have to do to be one of the better photographers out there when it comes to sharing content online but if you do that, then it's a great form of marketing. Uh, it's creating content, it's educating clients and prospects about what you do, and it's sharing the knowledge that you bring to your role. 
uh, it really is one of the best marketing tools you have because the focus is on inward marketing. So that means that people will find you when they are looking for a photographer in your area uh, rather than you necessarily having to go out to find them. Now, uh, of course, all of that's really great, but you can also benefit from outbound marketing. Uh, if you're working on creating this content we've just been talking about, then, then have a think about this idea. Uh, what could you do to repurpose some of that online content into something that you could use to reach out to and build a connection with a prospect? So what could you share with those agents and, and builders and designers that would be that first connection point with them? And then once you have that first connection point, what else could you, what else have you created uh, that could be your next connection point? Right, so what I'm talking about here is uh, building content and then using it in as many different ways as possible to be marketing your business in as many different places and to as many of your dream clients as you possibly can. And I, I know this is hard work, but marketing is everything. And if you want to run your own photography business, you need to love doing this, you need to be committed to it, and you need to hustle and get stuff done. Now, I'd love to hear from some of you to see what you're doing with all of this. So um, seriously, uh, message me or, or something and let me know what you do with this. But if you are stuck and you'd like me to help you with this, then please get in touch um, because my specialty is helping architectural and real estate photographers with this kind of marketing. Uh, so hit me up uh, if you would like some help with this. Okay, that's it for today. This has been Daryl Stringer and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.